this afternoon we're spending some time with the Talala female. She managed to catch a young wildebeest this morning and has been spending her entire day here just feeding on that. So we've come out now to find her with a very full belly as she's just resting right on the edge of the water. So our hopes are for her to either get up and go across and carry on feeding or potentially to have a drink. It's an incredibly hot afternoon this afternoon and so the likelihood of her having a drink is pretty high. But you can see she's so uncomfortable, she can't stay still. She's constantly rolling around, just trying to find the most comfortable spot to lie in. Every time she lies down on her side, the pressure from her belly pushes up, making it a little bit uncomfortable. So then she sits up with her head up allowing her to pant and breathe a bit easier. But fantastic to see that she's in such great condition and the fact that both the impala and the wildebeest are giving birth to both their lambs and calves respectively means that the chances of her having successful hunts is quite high because those are pretty easy prey for her to catch and that'll hopefully keep her going through the next three four months and will set her up for an even better or more successful future from there. But it's great to spend some time with her and just to see how well she's doing and we hope to have many more of these regular sightings with her going forward. This afternoon we're spending a bit of time with the Shimungwe female and her what is now a sub-adult male. It's incredible just to see the size he is. He's grown significantly since we last saw him or since we last put a story out on him. Bigger than his mother now. They're very casually just resting up on top of a termite mound here. Great spending time with them, they're very affectionate, these two leopards with a lot of grooming and nuzzling up against each other. Um, mother often like grooming the top of the head there, trying to get off some of the ticks from the cub's ears. It's a very warm afternoon, so they're pretty uncomfortable, and I'm sure it's just a matter of time before they move down from the mound and come and lie down in some of the grass nearby. While we're sitting here, the mother's just come down and she's trying to find a place to settle down in some of the grass. And as she was doing that, the cubs seen her and come down as well.
as the cubs settled down, the mother seems to have seen a Swainson spur fall off to the side, so she's just busy stalking that. It'd be pretty awesome if she does launch herself up into the air chasing after it, because I'm sure it'll take flight as soon as it sees her. It's not plain sailing for this cub just yet, but the Shimungwe female's done incredibly well to raise this young male as a second successful litter, getting it to this age. Approaching a year old now, and she's been very successful with her previous litter raising that young male, who's now known as the Maklakla male. He's established himself a bit further north of us here. It's been great spending some time with the Shimongwe female and her youngster but it doesn't look like too much more is going to be happening this afternoon they're just resting here in the shade often grooming each other we're going to head on see what else we can find for the afternoon so it's a pretty gloomy morning and we've just managed to find at least two lionesses lying out in some long grass uh, i'm going to get a little closer and see exactly who they are initially we just saw the one and thought it might be the Talala female so in getting a little bit closer, we can actually see there's a third individual lying underneath some of the thick bushes over there. So that makes three lionesses here. It's always pretty tricky to identify lions out in the field where we normally rely on the makeup of the pride and where they are on Londolosi and that helps us determine exactly which pride they are. Now with the ensemble pride fragmenting and spending a lot of time broken apart, it's quite tricky and they're not as easy to identify as a leopard would be. So it turns out that it's two sub-adult females and one sub-adult male. We're able to see that they've still got a lot of spotting on their legs and bellies. And then the young male starting to get that main development coming through here. So it looks as though they're the Ensevu sub-adults. There is a few wildebeest and impala way in the distance over there. And they were looking in that direction. But as it stands now, they're all sort of just resting and sleeping. So Whilst we're sitting here with these lionesses, we've just heard some wildebeest and impala alarm calling a bit further south of us. So we're just going to try and get up there and see what's going on. One of these lionesses, actually two of them now, are up and walking in this direction. So it's quite likely that there's something here. So the sighting's just taken a very interesting turn. We've just bumped into what is another lioness that was chasing after some of those wildebeest. Looks pretty young. Well, this is quite likely the Talala female. And as she chased some of the wildebeest, the rest of the wildebeest ran away. 
and the three and several lionesses then took off after them. Currently how it stands is this one lioness is sitting here behind me, another lioness has walked off down that direction, another one standing out in the open. And so they're just looking off in the distance watching each other. This one over here has dropped her head down quite low, flattened her ears. So I highly doubt that these are lionesses from the same pride. And if this is the Talala female, I hope she doesn't get into an altercation with these females. They are quite a distance away and it's nice and open out here. So she will see them coming and she'll try and do her best to get out of here and to avoid any conflict with these lionesses. But tensions are pretty high at the moment. And so let's just see how it all pans out for now. The wildebeest managed to get away so they're lucky they're safe. Run, girl. So by the looks of that, that definitely was the Tsalala female. One of the several lionesses took off after her. We watched them running through the clearings here. They were growling as they were running. So luckily the growl from one of the several females alerted the Tsalala female that she was after her. And thankfully she was fast enough and fit enough to get away. She's gone running off behind us here now. There's a lot of impala around, all alarm calling. We currently with the female that chased after her. That was a very, very close call for the Talala female. Heart's racing now because we want her to do as well as she can and thrive. Three and several sub adults, after having chased the Talala female away, they stopped off back there and were sniffing trying to determine or assess the pheromones or whatever was left behind with the impala and wildebeest spending a lot of time out in the open clearings here maybe one of them had given birth last night and that's probably what they were sniffing there the young male was Fleming grimacing that's just a way a means of him assessing the hormone or pheromone content of whatever has been left behind but the rain's starting to come in now glad the Talala female got herself away they're starting to settle down what's interesting is that both these and several sub-adults as well as the Talala female are all pretty much the same age so if she did have any chance of trying to join up with the pride it could possibly be with these females but that's obviously a bit of a long shot and highly unlikely that that would happen but you never know, we can live in hope and we are constantly surprised by the bush out here. So let's just see how things evolve in the next few months. And they now are settling out in the open here. Fairly cool weather blowing in, uh, pretty cloudy, gooty rain coming in. And so we're going to start heading back to camp, but what a phenomenal morning. And I'm just so relieved that the Talala female made it out scot-free.